Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to make this blur effect. Um, it's a really easy one. We're going to start off by grabbing our rectangle tool and making our background. We're going to start off with this pink version. Then all you just have to do is change the colors you're using, but nothing actually changes between these versions. Command 2 to lock your background in place. This way you can't move it around and it's not going to be bothering you. Um, you want to then grab your type, type tool or press T on your keyboard. And we're going to write our word. So we're going to go with blur. Alright, we're going to place it right about here. And we're going to make a horizontal version instead of a vertical version that's more for like Instagram and stories and feed. But we're on YouTube now, so we're going to make it horizontal. Um, you want to make your copy and you can decide whatever color you want your text to be. You can also change it later, no problem. Um, we're going to place this at the bottom. We're going to hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag up to make a duplicate copy. We're going to leave this top one black and this bottom one. We're going to open up our transparency panel or you can find it over here and we're going to lower the opacity to 0%. So you can't really see it now, but you're going to select both of your texts. Now um, go to Object, Blend, Make. Uh, now, I already have it set up properly with the amount of copies I want, but then you, yours is not going to be quite like this. So you're going to go back to Object, Blend, and you're going to select Blend Options. You want to make sure you're on step, Specified Steps, and you can decide how many steps you want. So as you can see, it adds a bunch of steps every time I add more. You're going to press OK when you're happy with it. Uh, last thing I like to do for the effect in general is go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm just going to add a little bit. Okay, maybe like two or two maybe is even too much. Maybe I'll go with uh, 1.5 and press OK. And you get this really nice effect. You can then add your text later like I did over here, but it's not mandatory, I mean. Um, I'm going to write it right here on the side. That's basically all that I did in Illustrator. Um, to get this grainy looking final product, I just basically copied everything. So I selected, first go to object and unlock your background. Otherwise you can't copy it. Anyways, you're gonna select everything, command C to copy everything. Now you can do this in Illustrator as well, but I feel like Photoshop is much faster for this. Illustrator always freezes up when I try and add grain. So we copied everything. We're gonna open up um, a file in Photoshop and we're gonna press command V to paste our art. We're gonna paste it as a smart object so that we get a nice, in high quality. Uh, what, then we just have to resize it and position it. And lastly, just go to filter, noise, add noise, and you can decide the amount in percent. 
I feel like five is okay. It's pretty harsh, but not too harsh. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So you can do this with whichever colors you like and you get some really awesome effects. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a like and subscribe if you like my content. Also, you can comment down below um, if you have any tutorial requests. And uh, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you this week. Bye.